How are we? And uh, Merry Christmas. Um, today, again, it's another different kind of um, video we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing a battle against a CO2 177 BB gun, which is the Umrex Bretta Elite 2. Um, this one, as you can see, takes a CO2 gas cartridge which you just insert into the side there and there's a screw underneath here just tighten it and do it until you stop hearing hissing and it's locked. Um, this one's got a, a 19 shot magazine it has a safety catch here which if it's on red it's locked it's ready to fire sorry and if it's on white it's locked so it won't fire. Um, nice little gun but today I've had to fit a little bit of a laser sight to the front here as you can see due to the fact is the gun that it's up against comes fitted uh, as it leaves the factory with a laser sight so obviously we've had to try and make it as fair as possible so a laser sight was fitted to this just to be fair. Um, this shoots uh, 177 ball bearings something like these here the Umarex ones which uh, Usually now uh, retail at about seven to eight pound for one thousand five hundred BBs, which isn't bad really. So yeah, they're probably like a, a nice, you know, a nice cheap way to get somebody into shooting, especially a younger person. I would have said. Um, today, it's battling up against another handgun, which is the Beeman P17. This is the Beeman P17, as you can see, it's got a laser dot sight on the top. Uh, this will shoot 0.22 pellets. Uh, I'm using, again, as I normally would, it's something that I go to, it's my go-to pellets at the moment, which because they're very good for this kind of thing that we're doing just at home target shooting. This is the uh, 2.2 RWS Hobby pellet um, to load this up. Click that at the back and you'll see that the body lifts, pull it forward and right at the top there you slide in your pellet and a matter of locking down. It has a safety catch just here, when you move it to shell red it's ready to fire. So I'll explain both the guns, uh, I've showed you how they all mainly work. Um, it's just a battle now. I mean, these are more or less around the same kind of money at the moment. You're probably talking close to the 60, 70 pound mark for a bit of these guns. But which one does give you good value for money for backguarding, plinking, and getting for somebody who's of a young age into air gunning, especially the pistols? Well, our next step is let's take it out into the garden. I'll set up a target, 10 shots off each see how they score and then just to battle it out even more I'm going to set up another target in the garden first one to reset the target which is a, a metal type target I'm going to lift all of them up and just leave the reset one down first one to hit the reset one wins so let's delay no more let's get on with the action thank you right then okay it's going to be time for the first gun it's going to be the Beam MP17 pneumatic. Uh, 10 shots into the target. Let's have a see how it does, what it records, and obviously you can all tell me what you think of both guns at the end. Uh, the pneumatic power, by the way, is quite a nice gun. It's not actually uh, springered. It, as you crack it, you'll see there's a big piston inside there, and it, you have to push the piston back, and it holds its pressure doing that, really. Uh, Nice gun to hold, and as I say, we're just going to give it a shot at the target now. Record 10 shots, let's see what it gives us. Right, let's go, let's get on with the action.
Okay, that was the Beeman uh, that's just been shot. Uh, now we're going to go to the Umar X Beretta. Uh, as you can see, um, with any sort of air pistol, it's not as accurate at all as a rifle, no doubt. But uh, let's have a go with the Beretta, see whether uh, 177 BBs can outdo a pneumatic 2.2. Here goes. Well, that's the result from the uh, the 10 shots you will find that I probably had 11 with each I did uh, while using the uh, Brett I get one stuck uh, and it fired really when I wasn't looking so I took the extra shot just to make it fair I believe there was 11 with a beam and one that actually went flying out the target altogether now obviously that could be me I'm not a fantastic shot by any means of the imagination but you know I'll try to give it a fair and accurate um, response of how the gun will work uh, in the hands of a novice. Um, our next setup now is obviously the reset on the metal targets and uh, the beam will go first and we will take it in turns. Okay, let's have a go. Okay, well this was the results from the target shoot up close. As you can see, the uh, one on the left hand side is the Beeman. Got a hell of a lot bigger holes in it, obviously the 2.2 being the bigger calibre. And the smaller ones here, this is obviously the Beretta 177 ball bearing. Um, what could you say really? I mean, there, there's not a massive difference. Uh, Bearing in mind there's a couple there in the outer ring on both and there's a couple of close ones I would probably guess if I was going to be honest that the Beeman's a little bit more accurate than the uh, the Beretta but I believe that's quite common with uh, ball bearing guns they do seem to go astray uh, but in the uh, the last challenge which was obviously to reset the uh, the gun machine um, they drawed so now as soon as the Beeman which went first struck it to reset Straight away after the uh, the BB gun, the Beretta Elite 2, struck it too. So that was a draw. But um, let's just get a fair and accurate uh, description of like what we've done today and what's happened in the test. Well, uh, that went well. Um, obviously the Beeman going first. I let the Beretta follow it up. 
and after the uh, beamer had reset the target the Beretta at the middle as well so that would have reset it so I think we've got to class that one as a draw um, as I say both guns laser sighted uh, it's much of a much I mean I've got to admit with an handgun you're a lot more shaky than you ever are with a rifle but um, I've tried to give it a fair and accurate perception of how they work and hopefully um, you've enjoyed the video and hopefully it's give you an idea if you are going to buy a gun for either your child or for yourself to do a bit of plinking in the uh, in the garden or perhaps out in the field somewhere um, I'll give you an idea about what you're going to get um, thank you again for watching uh, there's been a fantastic response to the couple of videos I've done and I really do appreciate it at a time like this when I've not been getting out and doing my normal video in with my drone this is something that you know is just filling in the time at home may not be too well as well it's you know it just gives me something to do as well really uh, but thank you I really do appreciate people who are watching the videos um, I do try and do my best thank you uh, after we uh, finished up I done a complete mag dump with the Beretta uh, that's the results there uh, that's the 19 shot mag released into the target um, as you can see much of what we had with the original Beretta I know you people love to have a bit of shoot and the only thing was I couldn't record this due to the fact that uh, it just started raining and I need to get the camera equipment in but uh, I just thought I'd let you know what the results of a mag dump was from out of the Beretta.